back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So over the past few months, I've picked up quite a few dresses and I feel like the last me not only through the summer but well into the fall also. They were all super affordable from H&M, Target, and Walmart. So a few months ago, back in May I think, Target dropped a collection of dresses with Christopher John Rogers, Alexis, and Rick So. And I picked up six dresses from that Target collection that they did. I only got one Christopher John Rogers dress. They were all just a bit too colorful for me. So I picked up this black and white dress. A very simple, very muted um, chevron pattern. I feel like most of that collection was just a bit too much for me. I know his whole aesthetic is very out there with voluminous puff sleeves, bright colors, just all of that combined into one and I feel like that just isn't really me. I feel like I either pick a bright color or I pick a puff sleeve or some sort of exaggerated silhouette. I never really combine the two so for that reason I only picked up this one Christopher John Rogers dress. I also only picked up one Alexis dress this, I feel like, is just a good staple kind of dress to have. It'll be good for going to work in, good for summer, good for fall. Um, could be layered with tights if necessary. I probably will never wear this rope belt that it comes with. I'll probably put my own belt on. I love the print that it comes in. I love the ruffle hem at the bottom. I feel like this is one that'll stay in my closet for a very long time. From the Target collab... Rixo is where it was at for me. Four of the six dresses I picked up were from the Rixo collection. The first one I got is this patchwork printed slip dress. This is very similar to one of their main line main collection dresses and when I saw this one this was probably the first dress that I actually wanted from the entire Target collection that dropped. Um, so yeah, I definitely wanted to get my hands on this one. The next dress I picked up is this black and white floral pattern dress. Um, I know this is going to be in my closet for a very, very, very long time. I already have a dress from Target that is very similar to this that I've had for many, many years and I still wear it. So I know I'm going to keep this for a while. It's 100% cotton, which is also an added bonus. It ties in the back and has these like roughly detailed sleeves. So I thought this was really cute. I know I'm going to keep it for a while. So definitely had to pick it up. The next dress I got was this red and white polka dot wrap dress. It's a short little mini dress with a ruffle wrap detailing. I wasn't really drawn to the red and white but the wrap of the dress is what really got me and I do love it on so that's why I decided to pick this up. Um, it's just super cute. It's very sheer and almost see-through, especially at the top because the top is unlined, but the bottom half is lined. So yeah, the wrap style of this is definitely what got me. Red is not really my color, but I wanted to take a risk on this one. And the last dress that I picked up is this very bright, very colorful, floral printed I would say maxi dress because it's definitely a maxi dress on me. It has a sleeve that can be like puffed up or pulled all the way down and um, a deep v-neck line in the front but zips all the way up the back. Um, I just thought this was so cute. I feel like this is like a Tuscany Italy vacation in the making. Hopefully that'll happen for me soon but who knows. Um, when I ordered this online, I assumed that the back was going to have a v-neckline as well. I don't know why I thought that, but, um, it definitely doesn't. Um, so, yeah, I just love the print of this dress. I feel like I would wear this for a very, very long time as well. From Walmart, I only got two dresses. They're both the exact same dress, just a plain slip dress but not plain in the print. This is a pink and like neon yellowy greeny print. 
Um, this is how I feel like I do out of the box like prints and patterns. If it's gonna be super bold and super bright and out there it needs to be in a simple silhouette and a simple shape. I can't do like a mixture of both. It has to be one or the other. So I picked up this pink leopard print slip dress. It's super cute on, very flattering, and it was only $25. So who knew Walmart had the goods? And I also picked up that same slip dress in this brown and white polka dot print. This is giving all of the pretty woman stomping out the divots vibes. And I'm here for it. So I got this one as well and I love it. It's more of a neutral for me just because of my skin tone. But I definitely love it and I could see myself wearing this one for a while as well. Lastly from H&M. I picked up some more neutral dresses, except for one. The first one is this sheared bodice mini dress. I was drawn to this dress because the sheared bodice has a bust start, which most dresses like this do not. And it's just very flattering on. This particular dress comes in a few different colors. I've been trying to get the nude tan color for like forever now since it came out. The tan color was the first color that I saw this dress in and it was always sold out every time I tried to get it. So when I saw that it came out in black, I picked up the black one and I love it. This dress comes with these little spaghetti straps that can be attached if you want. It is 100% cotton also and was only $20, so you can't beat that. The next dress I also picked up in two colors, it's this mini linen cotton blend, just plain square neckline spaghetti strap dress. It has a little added detail of a double spaghetti strap where one is just goes straight back and the other crisscrosses in the back that I thought was really cute. It is fully lined, so it's not see-through at all. But because of the linen, it will definitely crease. But I thought this was just a really good staple to have. And uh, I know for a fact I will wear summer after summer from now on. Not only did I pick up that dress in black, I also picked it up in the beige color as well. And I feel like this is just what neutral dreams are made of. And the very last dress that I picked up is this blue and peach and cream striped midi length slip dress. This one is from the Lem Lem collection with H&M. So it's pretty old now. I don't know if it's still available online or not. But um, yeah, I love the colors in this. Blue is my favorite color, so it really drew me to this one. And this was pretty affordable too. I believe it was $17.99. In the collection so I feel like I had to pick it up it is a little sheer especially on the white stripes versus all of the other colors but still love it it's really cute has a little tie detail in the back that makes the straps adjustable so very very cute so that's it for this video let me know what you think about the dresses down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one